Hi there, Science Apprentice. My name is Noemi Duran, and I want to welcome you to Creation Lab, your favorite program where we use experiments to learn from the Bible in a fun way. In this 10 video series, we will go over the week of creation and all of the wonderful things that God created for us on each day. Pay close attention because two times a week, you will have a new video full of surprises, science, and fun. Some of the experiments that you will see in this program are dangerous, and you should not try to do them at home. We will mark them with this symbol. But don't worry, I'm going to show you a lot of amazing things that you can do, as long as you have permission from your parents or the adults who are in charge of you. For some of the experiments that we will mark with this other symbol, it will be necessary for an adult to be with you to help you with the difficult or dangerous steps. And no, it can't be your 12-year-old brother or sister, no matter how mature they are. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. What's the first thing that you do when you walk into a dark room? Turn the light on, right? Well, that's what God did on the first day of creation. It might seem like it's not a whole lot to do for a full day of work, but light is actually something that is really important and super complicated. Light is energy. How do we know that? Well, because light can be transformed into other forms of energy like heat, sound, and movement. You don't believe me? Let me show you. The flame on this candle is energy and it produces light and heat. Ow! It burns! The light from this laser has enough energy to pop a balloon. In an explosion, energy is released all at once through a loud noise and light. This balloon is full of hydrogen, a very flammable gas. If we put it close to a flame, and lastly, the electricity that is circulating through these wires is also a form of energy that turns into light when it goes into this light bulb. This doesn't seem very impressive, but what would you say if I told you that I'm going to try to do the same thing with this pickle? Through this device, we are going to send an electrical current into this giant pickle. Let's see what will happen. What do you think of the enlightened pickle? Unfortunately, these experiments about light and energy are too dangerous for you to try at home. But there are other characteristics of light that you can experiment without danger. One of them is that white light is made up of the seven colors of the rainbow. Can you imagine how boring the world would be if everything was just black and white? Luckily, when God created the light, He did it by combining different rays of color. And this is what we are going to prove in today's experiment. We are going to need a CD, a cutter knife, duct tape, electrical tape, modeling clay, and a flashlight. The first thing that we're going to do is eliminate this top layer from the CD, the layer that has the letters. And to do that, we're going to make a cut without pushing too hard because we don't want to cut through to the other side. Next, we're going to use the duct tape. We're going to press it over the area that we cut. Until it is completely clean. It's important that we don't clean it with any cloth or other cleaning products. With a small piece of electrical tape, we're going to cover up the hole in the center of the CD. Now 
Now, we're going to use the modeling clay to hold the CD up in a vertical position. Next, we will use the flashlight to illuminate the back of the CD by directing the ray of light towards the center that has been covered up. And we will move the flashlight back and forth. To be able to see this effect, we need to turn the lights off. So what just happened? On the CD, there is a line that spirals all the way around from the center out towards the edge. This line is so fine that it can only be seen by our microscope. On this line, there is also a series of tiny mountains, which is the music that has been recorded on the CD. A ray of white light is made up of rays of seven different colors. When the rays crush into the mountains, each one goes a different direction, which makes the colors separate and we can see each of them on the surface of the disc. Even though all of this is really interesting, the objective of this program is not only for you to learn about science, but also about the Bible. What did we learn today? That God created the light on the first day of creation. That God, who is very wise, gave us a source of energy that can be converted into other forms and used in many different ways. That thanks to all of the colors that God put in the light, everything is so much more beautiful. And there's more! Light is so important that Jesus says in the Bible that He is the light of the world. And if we don't want to walk in the dark in fear of stumbling and hurting ourselves, we should look to Jesus. We can represent Jesus with this candle that we saw at the beginning of the program. And we are the matches. What happens when we put the matches close to the candle? They catch fire too and also produce light. You are the light of the world. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. And that's it for today's program. But remember, we're not done yet. A good scientist is never satisfied with just seeing how others do things. They have to try it for themselves. So now it's your turn to put on your lab coat, your safety glasses, and your gloves, and do the experiment at home. And don't forget to ask for permission and take all necessary precautions. See you next time.